Hey, good afternoon, beautiful people. A quick update on my article entitled Government Blockchain, It's the Infrastructure Stupid. And so that article, in that article, I postulate why government blockchain adoption is at least 10 years away. And there's a reason that it's at least 10 years away. And so I've got a handy dandy checklist and I'm gonna go through it right quick. So you get an idea of why government blockchain is at least 10 years away. Uh, number one is infrastructure. Our critical infrastructure, or rather our technology infrastructure in the US is abysmal. It sucks. But if it ain't broke, why fix it? So once you enter the hollowed halls of uh, Congress and government uh, and the bureaucratic processes that are, they're not going to want to invest in that critical infrastructure to actually update it to a untested, unproven novel technology that is blockchain. And yes, there are pilot programs running, but this brings us to point number two. And point number two are the legacy systems and relationships. Right now, the Beltway Bandits, the Khakis, the IBMs, the Deloitte's of the world, um, they don't want to give up their middleman margins. So they rely on the inefficiencies of the government to make them money. So that's another reason why the government blockchain adoption is 10 years away. Uh, in addition to that is the education and training. Right now, there's not um, the investment in training the next generation of technologists and leaders who will actually go work for the government. Um, what's one of the reasons why I'm in, uh, where am I at? Uh, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia this week and right now um, making this video. It, but while in the US, there just hasn't been that investment in the educational infrastructure uh, in minds to actually make that transition possible. Right now, if you're a capable uh, programmer or dev, in the blockchain space, you are not going to go work for the government. You're going to go work for uh, Coinbase or some other startup who will pay you handsomely. Uh, the next part about this that we want to cover is the cultural change. So whenever you implement a pilot that's designed to increase efficiencies, reduce redundancies, make transparency greater, you're going to get a big cultural pushback. And this is why government blockchain or blockchain adoption in the government is at least 10 years away because those bureaucrats who've carved out their little kingdoms within the government, they're not gonna wanna give up their kingdoms. They're not gonna wanna give up their fiefdoms. They're gonna fight tooth and nail every step of the way to say only m drug dealers, money launderers, and sex traffickers use Bitcoin. And then they're gonna confuse Bitcoin with blockchain. And then we're gonna have this circular conversation and we're gonna have similar things, much like when uh, Zuckerberg goes to in front of the Senate and they talk about the Facebooks as though he's running this out of his uh, dorm room. And so the biggest part, our impediment to government blockchain uh, adoption isn't the technology. The technology is pretty straightforward. It's the cultural and organizational pushback by humans because as Chris Bennett would agree, humans suck. And so, oh, I do have one more bullet point that I haven't covered. I think I've covered most of them. Amazon. When Amazon moves into the space, it does create opportunities. But again, it goes back to those humans who are like, we don't like Amazon, they don't help us. And so they're gonna fight that. But it does, Amazon and other big, care, other big entities moving into the space do impact um, so-called blockchain advisors and startups because it's gonna shrink the size of your ocean a lot. Um, my last point is that bad data. The other reason that uh, blockchain adoption will be a challenge within the government. Well, there's two main reasons. One, in order to go blockchain, you gotta go paperless. The government, they love their paper. And so two, blockchain doesn't resolve bad data. If you've got shitty data, you've got shitty data on a blockchain. And so part of the challenge with um, government blockchain adoption isn't so much blockchain itself, it's creating the environment, the ecosystem, and the culture of being digital first, mobile first, paperless first, and having good data. Um, so when you have good data in, you can have good financial products or just good products out. When you have shitty data in, well, you, you shit shit. So that's just how that works. So there's a few minutes on why government blockchain adoption is 10 years away at a minimum. Yes, you're gonna see pilots. Yes, you're gonna see uh, programs that come out that are gonna be limited in scope. But until you see a giant enterprise-wide application, you've gotta get over paper processes and people. Rather, you don't get over paper processes and people. You get them, you inspire them to adopt your new fancy technology by making it so easy they don't know what they're using. So that's it. Uh, if you're in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, I'm here for a little bit. Uh, drop by, maybe we can have some tea. I'm at the Movin Pick, Movin Pick, something like that, Movin Pick Hotel. And so I'll see you all stateside in about a week or two. Deuce. Pieces.